Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, my darlings, and happy day, everybody. Good morning, my loves. Good morning. I know I look disaster. No, actually, I look gorgeous. So, back off, and my house could use a power wash. So, eat it. <laughs> um, so, guys, it is Sunday morning. I came out on the back porch to do my gratitude list. I'm trying to make this tradition every Sunday where every Sunday morning we sleep in, first of all. No, I didn't fix my nail yet. We sleep in, first of all, and then and enjoy that because sun Saturdays we really don't sleep in. We're up pretty early. Sunday sleep in and take your time in the morning and not rush it and kind of have take your take your moment and and make Sundays as relaxing as possible. That's my goal for JB and I. Um so I'm out here on the back porch. It is ex actually exactly 10 o'clock on the dot. I'm gonna go in and start getting ready soon. JB went out to uh, go fill my gas or my go fill my gas with car. Go fill my car with gas. Um, and he had to go out and see because last night, yeah, we're guessing a drunk driver knocked over all of our mailboxes. So the police were here this morning to deliver our mail. Wasn't that nice? Um, so he just wanted to go out and see like what was going on and, and just kind of investigate and stuff. But when he gets home, he's going to start cooking, guys. I'm really excited for what he's cooking today. We're just staying home. It's supposed to be a rainy day today. Uh, it's overcast, and they're not calling for all-day rain showers, but at least in the afternoon they are. So we're just excited to chill at home. JB's excited to cook. He's making dinner and a really cool dessert. So I'm really just really pumped for today. It's going to be a nice, relaxing, awesome day. So yeah, guys, so I'm going to go get ready. I'm not doing my hair today. I'm just going to throw it up and put on some makeup and try to find a nice, like, comfy outfit to wear. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I am ready for the day. I have my hair up in a banana clip. I'm wearing my new pearl necklace. I'm wearing this cute Ariel muscle tea that I got from Walmart a couple weeks ago and some black linen pants. But you know what I was talking? Oh, of course I have. Okay. All right. Um, but I was talking to JB about how the kids do this. But then they're on the floor and they're like kicking out. And they're like, don't Jeff. I don't know what that's called, but I wish I could do it. I wish I could do it. So, anyway, you guys don't care about me. Let's go see what JB's making today. Why, hello there. <laughs> Alrighty, JB. So, what are we making today? We are making some cashew raspberry ice cream. And what are you making it in? What did you get this we, weekend we got, from who that you came up with this idea? From D, we got a uh, an attachment for the uh, uh, stand uh, stand up mixer. It's uh, for churning ice cream. Yeah. And oh, I'm excited right now. The um, the bowl for the churning is in the freezer. It's been there overnight. Uh, there's like some kind of uh, gel liquid inside the bowl that needs to be uh, frozen and keeps it cool and takes the place of the uh, ice and salt in a traditional ice cream churner. You know what is so funny is I was going to ask you why we didn't grab salt for it. Yes, I swear don't. to God, when I was doing my hair and makeup, I was like sitting there and I was like, I've always seen ice cream made with salt and we didn't grab right. any. Right, yeah. So in traditional ice cream makers, it, right, you would have uh, salt, uh, ice and salt layered do the whole freezing process. But yeah, with this, it's all in contained inside this uh, bowl so, of the, the gel that freezes, so yeah, it removes all the the ice uh, necessity. Okay. So, <laughs> we're going to uh, make up the um, the ice cream uh, mixture, uh, and uh, so first off we have uh, heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. And we have sweetened condensed milk. Okay. Now, some recipes call for cream and regular milk and adding sugar, but we're, uh, other recipes call for sweetened condensed milk. Uh, we're going to use that in place of the sugar and milk. Okay. And we have egg yolks. Okay. And vanilla, some salt. Uh, we have uh, fresh raspberries. Yeah. And we also have um, roasted salted cashews. That, oh, okay. Those will come in later um, before we uh, put it in the churner. 
So we'll uh, start off with two cups of the uh, heavy whipping cream. And we're going to uh, simmer the, uh, this mixture of the uh, cream and condensed milk and vanilla and salt. Now, yeah, sweetened condensed milk is really like candy. It's, uh... Yeah, yeah I use it in the Hello Jollies. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. So is that kind of what you're also kind of looking for here is for it to almost like caramelize in a sense? Well, it's, um, it's like the chemical reaction with uh, simmering up the uh, cream gets the proteins just right. And then we'll cook it along with the uh, egg yolks. And it, yeah, it gets, it, essentially we're trying to get into, make it a... Th thicken the mixture and also with the, yeah since we're using a, a good amount of raspberries this will that may thin the mix a bit and with this it'll be extra thick so it'll it'll be a nice uh, balance you know what i think it's gonna be hmm. my favorite word to describe things refreshing yeah. <laughs> yeah. i think it's, it's gonna be refreshing uh, i think it's gonna be delicious oh i think this will be amazing i said where's my fruity pebble ice cream Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or is this like a trial and error kind of deal? This, well, yeah, I'm kind of, uh, it's been a very long time since I've made homemade ice cream. So now I have to wait for this to simmer? Right, we're going to simmer that. I'm just going to add some uh, vanilla and uh, eh, about a tablespoon or so. Tablespoon of vanilla, okay. Sea salt. Okay. JB, could you imagine all the weird ice creams we can make with this? Oh, we could... We, look at, we can even use the better than blue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some lobster base ice cream or some fish base, chili base. Oh, that smells great. Already. All right, I want to smell it. Mmm, it smells like ice cream. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just wait for that to come to a yep. simmer? Yep, and then uh, yeah, we'll be back in a moment. Okay. All right, now that we're at a simmer. All right, so I'm good. What I'm going to do is to temper this just right. I'm going to uh, pour a little bit of the uh, cream mixture. Into Almost these. like when you made um, so it doesn't cook. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Right. So I don't. Yeah. So the cook eggs don't cook. Mm -hmm. I always remember that for some reason. It's something that sticks with me when you when you do it a little at a time so the eggs don't cook. Yep. Yeah, tempering. Oh. Oh, and this is six egg yolks, by the way. Oh, six eggs yo egg yolks. Okay. Yep. So now we're gonna we have it at kind of like low to medium heat, and we just want to. What we're gonna do is uh, cook this until it um, till like when it coats the back of the spoon when we uh, pull it out. So it shouldn't take too long here. Okay, will you show us when you're ready? Yep. How it coats then, the back of the spoon? Mm -hmm. Okay. That looks neat. Yeah. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, JB, it's been a little bit. Yep, so it's it's <clears throat> cooked now where it's becoming custard-like. Okay. So we're gonna turn off the heat for now. I'm gonna, I have about a eh, cup and a half to two cups of uh, raspberries here. Okay. And we're going to uh, use the immersion blender. You know what is so crazy while you were doing that? I could smell it. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Yeah, that's, so this is, now we have, um, our ice cream mixture um, mixed up. And we're going to bring it down to room temperature and then put it in the refrigerator and chill it for about four hours or so before we uh, put it into the uh, ice cream churner. Oh, okay, all right. Well, then we'll see you in a little bit after you're done being chilled. Mm -hmm. So guys, we are just chilling on the back porch. There's Mr. J. Hello. Honey, did you hear? That there's going to be a sriracha shortage. Oh, really? Yeah, there's going to be no more sriracha. Why is that? Well, Becca messaged me or made a, or tagged me in a comment that said that they're shutting down production of sriracha. Well, we can make our own. Oh, there's that. You want to know why? Why? Because the pepper that they use for sriracha... The farm that grows it had, a, I forget what the legal or the jargon is for it, but like a bad batch. So they had to shut down the whole farm and shut down production of sriracha. Hmm. 
So we'll have to make our own. Yeah. I guess it's just another challenge for Jungle Justin. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, JB. So we just got back from taking the pups on a WALK. Yeah. And now what are we doing? So we're going to make a, um, a chicken dish. It's, I'm kind of playing around here. It's going to be like a spinach artichoke uh, dip, uh, chicken <laughs> casserole. It's, yeah, kind of an amalgam of things. Uh, Jambut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to, um, so I'm going, like, as the base uh, spinach artichoke dip, I'm going to use a, a pack of the, the um, Lipton uh, vegetable soup, that dip mix. Okay. Um, I'm going to kind of go off of that and use the sour cream and mayo, um, artichoke. Sour cream, mayo. Uh, spinach, artichoke hearts. And then, in addition to that, I'm going to uh, use Vidalia onion, uh, yellow and orange uh, bell pepper, goat cheese, some Parmesan cheese, and um, we're gonna mix that all together and put it in a casserole dish and then have the chicken on top. I'm gonna season it and we'll bake it. Okay, and then you have black pepper, badia, and crushed red pepper. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna put that on top of the chicken Okay. before we bake it. So, all right. yeah, so we'll, um, let's see, we'll start off with about a cup of mayo. Okay. Duke's mayonnaise. Oh, Duke's mayo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell them, tell them what you're going to name your new cooking show. Dining with Dimples. Dining with Dimples. <laughs> Eight ounces of sour cream. Okay, so a cup of mayo, eight ounces of sour cream, which is also a cup, right? Yeah. So right, yeah. So cup mayo, cup cup sour cream. Yep. Uh, we'll put in a package of the um, vegetable uh, soup dip mix. Okay. That a stir about. A stir about. All right. And we'll add in our extra ingredients here artichoke hearts fidelia onion bell pepper goat cheese okay all right so you're gonna mix this up yep, yep. all right hey, jb so this is all stirred up yep i'm gonna put this into the casserole dish okay so i'll uh Layer the uh, chicken down. Yeah, we'll just put a little seasoning. We have the Badia Complete seasoning. Badia Complete, okay. Uh, there, uh, crushed red pepper. Okay. Crushed brown black pepper. Okay, so I, uh, some seasoned breadcrumbs. Okay. Let me just sprinkle some on top. And then I have fresh grated uh, Parmesan cheese. And uh, we'll put that in a 375 oven. I'm roughly an hour or so. I'm gonna check it. I'll keep an eye and see how it how it goes. But, okay, and what are you putting it on again? 375. Alrighty, we'll check it. All right. Why, hello. Hey, JV. So the uh, the chicken it, it's looking very nice. Wow, it does it's, look really good, honey. It's, it's essentially about there so I'm going to uh, put on the rice we have a, a nice blend it's um, uh, white brown wild and red rice Ooh, yummy. what we're going to do in the uh, we're going to make up a little broth to uh, cook the rice and we'll add some uh, better than bouillon mushroom base yes. and some chicken base from our veggie pals mm -hmm. veggie pals veggie pals put in a cup of water yes. in the pot so I'm just gonna, this is pretty simple. All right, y'all, while we wait for... Did I put... Sorry, I'm starting JB's coffee. 
Anyway, we're waiting for our dinner, and we're actually watching Stranger Things, guys. We have seen the first season, but that's when we were. So I don't really remember it, and neither does JB. So we're going to watch it on our TV. But I have a new creamer to try with y'all, so I'm so excited. Okay, so the creamer we are going to try today is by Coffee Maid. It says limited time only on it. This is definitely not something I'd get all the time, guys, but I'm just curious about it. But it's Coffee Maid Vanilla Sunday Cone Drumstick Flavor. And I'm, re I'm just really curious about it. I again, it's not something I would get no like all the time. I know that already before even trying it. But it's funny because JB and I just got not drumsticks, but the sister Klondike version of drumsticks. And uh, I was like, oh my God, we just had those. So I, oh yeah, the unicorn one. You guys remember that. So I was like, oh, let me get this and try it because we just had them. So I don't know. Let's, let's see what it's, what it, what it has to offer. All right. Let's see. Let's see. It does taste like it. Ooh, I actually really, really like that. Really, really like that. Give that a four. Well, 100%. That is, that is really, really good. Not something I'd get all the time, but it's really, really good. It does taste like a waffle cone. And the ice cream and a little bit of chocolate. There you go, guys. I, I, I again, wouldn't get it all the time, but I give it a four. If you're into drumsticks, you will absolutely die over this. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so here is dinner. I am so excited for this, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. It looks so mm. colorful and delicious. Mm. So there's the wild rice, there's the chicken, and there is the spinach dip type of deal. But it looks Banging! What are you having first? Some chicken? Yeah. <clears throat> Get a little bit of everything here. Oh, it's nice and crunchy too. Yeah, that, that turned out well. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Okay. I have a bunch of vegetables mm -hmm. and chicken. Mm. Woo! <laughs> it's hot, but what I'm eating is good. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is almost like a spinach artichoke. It's like stuffing the chicken with that, but without right. having to stuff it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like how it turned, you get more ratio of the, the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. All right. I'm going to get this wild rice. Oh, God. I love wild rice, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect meal for today, JB. It's not, yeah. It's nice. It's it's a little chilly out and dark and, and dark and sometimes it's like one of those days where sometimes you see the sun but like not really it just like pops out and it's just like and then it just disappears it's not in the mood today the sun's not in the mood today um but this is delicious and we are watching stranger things oh, i'm just dropping stuff everywhere over here what do you think of stranger things honey yeah i mean i'm well we saw like the first three episodes a couple of years ago and I'm remember, yeah, remembering most of it, but uh, yeah, we'll continue on. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're watching Change Your Things because everyone keeps telling us to watch it, and also everyone keeps talking about this last season, so we're late on the game, but we're enjoying it. So we're gonna go watch it, and we'll see you in a little bit. So, JV, all right. So we have the, uh, this has been chilling in the fridge. Oh wait, you didn't tell him it's an ice cream time? Yeah, it's ice cream time. With dinner with dimples. Yeah. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, or dining with dimples. Dining with dimples. It's ready for the third course. All right, so uh, this is nice and chilled. Okay. And we have th this bowl just out of the freezer. It's all set up. And, and that freezer's been, and that's been in the freezer since yesterday. Yes, it has. Mm-hmm. So we'll, uh, Pour in. We'll see how much fit. Maybe it'll fit. Okay, and then now what? 
And then I have some cashews to add. Okay. This has to go for like 20 to 30 minutes. Or oh, we have to just let it like this yeah. for 20 to 30 minutes? Yeah, until the text their preferred texture is reached. So we'll see. Because it's it might may not take as long be, because it's thicker, it's like custard-like. But we'll find out. We'll see. See how well, it's hot, yeah. It has to churn. It get really cold. I thought we were gonna eat ice cream like right now. Oh, no, it's gonna be a little bit. Until it becomes ice cream. Oh, I showered, guys, by the way. Okay, we'll see it in a little bit. Hurry up! Well, I guess it must be getting close to being ready. It uh, really expanded. As you can see, there's some expanding ice cream activity yeah. going on over here. It's <laughs> better keep an eye on it, Jungle Justin. I tell you, better keep an eye on that. Let me just—I'll turn it off a second and see what kind of texture we have going here. Oh, okay. You're, you're. Oh, we're doing some testing activity too. I mean, I guess yeah. It seems thick enough to because we have to put it in a container then to. Would you like to taste it? Yeah, hold on. Okay, you guys are in a very sketchy spot, but hopefully you guys stay. But we're gonna try JB's ice cream. Mm -hmm. His ice cream. All right. There it is. It's a little pink in hue. You guys can't really tell, but it's a little pink. Yeah. The flavor is amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Thank you so much, G. Mm. We will definitely be making a lot of ice cream. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Very light. Mm-hmm. Whippy. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Let's just bring the bowl in the room. <laughs> It'll be gone. Mmm. 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 -hmm. <coughs> Delicious. Thank mm. you, D. Mm -hmm. That is really, really cool. Really, really cool. And that's amazing. Amazing. Mm. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stop eating it. Mmm. 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 Alright guys, so we're gonna go. Honey, dinner was a five out of five, and so is this ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, don't close it just yet. Just don't close it just yet. Mm. But guys, thank you for spending the weekend with us. Did you have a fun weekend? Mm -hmm. Me too, honey. It was nice to be home. Yes, it, was. it was nice to be home, guys. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching on your phones, in your homes, or on your tablets. And I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or night, whenever you watch us. I love you guys so, so much. You will definitely see me tomorrow. So until the next one. Yoo-hoo. Bye-bye. <laughs>